name is Mary Marsilia. I'm an arts worker and a writer. I'm a self-confessed snacker. You'll often find half-chewed snacks in my backpack, in my pocket, in my drawers at home. I'm Filipino, and so in my culture, we have this thing called merienda, which translates to snack time. And often, Filipinos will have meriendas several times a day. Mm. It's so good. It feels like I'm French kissing the ocean bed. I realized, mm. you know, having little snacks in between meals was what made me miss home and what made me really connect with my family while I'm here in Australia. It's quite a slimy, goopy snack. I'm a goopy kind of gal, so I, I this is my go-to. <laughs> When I moved to Sydney and started working at Forest Centre for Contemporary Asian Art, I wanted to know where the best places were to find snacks. Because of my line of work in the creative sector, I naturally asked artists, and all roads pointed to Haymarket in Chinatown. During lockdown, we realised that the food community in Haymarket and Chinatown were really struggling and shuddering because a lot of people stopped coming to these precincts. The idea for Secret Snacks is to find a way to bring people back into the area to uplift businesses, but also to connect artists with the community through snack stories. Hey, man. Hey, hey Jay, how are you? All right. <laughs> Let's talk about Secret Snacks. What I'd love you to do is to walk around and find a place that means a lot to you. And we'll turn that into a Secret Snacks profile. I'm always excited about food. I think a lot of people are. I grew up a kid of mixed cultures. My mum's Indonesian, my dad's Indian. So I think that was obviously my entry point to food. My thought process is really thinking back to my kind of late teenage years and early 20s of coming to a market every weekend and you know going to shows or, and, and seeing friends. Something that we always loved was fried snacks. So my secret snack is fried skewers. It reminds me of that time of just sharing like a late night feed together. I picked a snack with a lot of variety, so you can kind of go in and pick the flavors or ingredients you like, and I like that kind of interactivity of a, of a dining experience. You know, I love food on a stick, and it's exciting to think about other people going to find it and eat some skewers. Basically, when I look at Joy's works, my eyes shine and my tummy rumbles. Joy comes up with a persona for the artist and a profile. For Secret Snacks, I think I brought in my nostalgia for Asian snacks. My first memories are being taken to Asian grocery stores. I love the bright, bold colours, the fun typography, and also the cute characters, the anamorphic characters. What was important for me in the design was to also make the design inclusive. I thought what better way to be able to give secret snacks to everyone is to translate the word secret snacks. <gasps> wow! Oh my gosh, this is your creation. Yes. This is it. Yeah, this is the design <gasps> for Calum J. Let's upload this to Instagram. Okay. It's been so wholesome to see this project grow. That really propelled us to continue by turning to the community and saying, what is your favorite snack? Share it with us and we'll find those snacks and we'll promote those businesses. And that way we can have a Rolodex of snack hunting activities that everyone can enjoy. It's an ever-growing communal plate that is started by artists because artists are the true taste makers.